Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to uh, do a video giving you my first impressions on ice cream sandwich and as well as uh, basically just giving you a review of things that I do like about it. Uh, basically I've, I've ran this uh, ROM all day, the ice cream sandwich port ROM if you do want to. It is on my Nexus S4G if you want to get that ROM I can post links to the videos in the description of the video so be on the lookout for those. Uh, basically, I can just kind of go through some things, but first thing I want to go through is the lock screen. I do really like this lock screen, as you can see, just a nice uh, white circle there, pops up. You got camera shortcut and unlock shortcut. Uh, I do wish you could customize this shortcut on the left. Uh, I don't use camera as much. I would I would prefer it to be maybe a messaging shortcut. I do use uh, text messages a lot, so if that could be customized, that would be a nice feature to have. But otherwise, I do like this uh, the lock screen a lot. Um, the Google apps are are great. Um, every pretty much all those apps are updated. You got the Google Talk app was updated. Google, uh, Gmail app was updated. The messaging apps updated. Uh, the uh, internet's updated out uh, basically all the, the camera app all those are good a apps that everyone uses are updated so that's a nice feature as you check out the the gmail app as you can see you got these it's white and it's just completely different it's revamped it's nice it's really nice i do like all of the updated google apps i don't have any complaints about those at all uh there's also nice transition animations the home screen does Transition has a nice animation to it and also if you go quickly from upside down to right side up it flips or from here to here It'll flip so that's pretty cool as well. Just opening everything is uh, very uh, fluent if I go to Maybe a, a, my settings application and just you'll, you'll see as I go through different windows It'll like flip it'll just transition and it's very clean very nice um, there's also a search bar up at the top as you have noticed no matter what home screen you're on it stays up there on the Nexus S4G <clears throat> Excuse me. It does kind of take up Space on your home screen considering the screen is smaller, but I'm sure once uh, basically once you get it um, On a bigger screen it will be a lot nicer. So just a heads up there about the Google search bar um, One of my favorite features actually it is probably my favorite feature is the recent apps feature you can press and hold the home button and it brings up all your recent apps and running apps. And if you wanted to exit out of one of them, all you have to do is swipe left or right with it and it exits out of it. So that is one of my favorite features by far. Another really cool feature is the option you have to uh, get rid of certain notifications. If you have a bunch of notifications in your notification bar, like so, you can just swipe over and it gets rid of it. So that's very cool right there if I had a bunch of them at once. So that's nice right there. Uh, the dialer is really cool. As you can see, a nice theme to the dialer. Uh, one thing, one complaint I have about this is you don't have a contacts button to go straight to contacts. I'm sure if I searched, it'll go to my contacts. So that's one thing that is nice. I can just hit search and go to my contacts. But there's really no just contact button. I'm sure it might be updated if that is a, a need for people. The theme of it is just awesome. I really like the theme of Ice Cream Sandwich. The blue battery icon, the blue icons, Wi-Fi. Everything for me is working. Wi-Fi, 3G, everything. Um, it's just really cool clean really nice uh, over scroll glow is nice just everything about this is just very nice I do like it a lot another cool feature obviously is the grouped apps feature you can just drag and drop apps onto each other let's say I wanted to drag this Google Plus on top of the huddle app I can just do that and both of them are in a group right there so there you go and if I want to rename it I just tap on unnamed folder and just rename it as you can see I have Google Apps right there opens up all my Google Apps and it's called Google Apps at the bottom. So it's very cool. That's a nice feature as well, having those groups just uh, on your home screen. It definitely reduces space and you have a lot more space to work with. Uh, but also another cool feature is you can go to settings and change your font size. Go to display and font size. You can just change it, which is, in, in my opinion, really nice because some people like bigger fonts, some people like smaller fonts, and it allows you to customize it. So, I mean, you can make it really small or really large or just normal so but you have all those nice uh, font size options which is nice the launcher is really cool I like it a lot um, with groups and uh, basically 
you're not needing as much home space. It only has five home screens, which is nice. I don't like any more than five. I don't need seven or whatever it is. But the launcher is very nice. I like having five icons at the bottom. That's so much nicer than only the call and the browser icon that was on gingerbread. So definitely the more icons at the dock bar, the better for me anyways. And you also have some cool widgets um, and you can have certain ones are resizable. Not all of them are resizable, but certain ones such as uh, the bookmarks widget, it is scrollable as well. So that's very cool. You can have all your bookmarks right there and scroll through them. You can also resize this widget. You press and hold on it, let it go and then you can resize it. So if I wanted to drag this down and make it bigger, I could, and there I'm good to go. So now it's even bigger. So that's very cool. Um, certain apps are resizable and uh, scrollable as well. So another nice feature of Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, you also have um, battery life, which is, very, it's pretty good actually. Um, I used this a lot yesterday. I mean, I was on it constantly. Um, just testing different things out, trying different things out. I'm going to go ahead and go to my gallery and show you guys screenshots I took of it. And go to my screenshots, and I believe the last uh, these were. Okay, so here here's a good look at my um, battery life. As you can see, 6 hours and 30 minutes. Um, and basically, as you can see, it went down and down. But it gives you, I was on Wi-Fi probably... 60% of the time in 3G, the other 40%. So just a heads up there. Um, basically, that's just a quick look at it. And also, you have screen on of an hour and 50 minutes. So almost two hours of screen on time, uh, along with six hours and six and a half hours of battery life, which is very good for me. I was using this a lot, using data a lot, using a lot of different things, games, just a bunch of different things, draining the battery. And as you can see, uh, 6% at 6 hours and 30 minutes with almost 2 hours of screen on time. So in my opinion, that is really good battery life. I got great battery life out of this uh, this ROM. So just a heads up there that uh, that is a nice... Um, a nice added thing you're not getting you're not sacrificing battery life to try this on the Nexus S 4G so just figured I'd go over that as well uh, but other than that it's just a quick overview of things that I do like about uh, ice cream sandwich um, just if you do have any comments added things that you like feel free to leave a comment I'd be happy to hear your guys' opinion on ice cream sandwich uh, if you do have any questions feel free to ask as well be sure to subscribe to me uh, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All the links will be in the description of the video. And thanks for watching, guys.